Hello, my name is Jamie. I'm an engineer here at Hydroheat. And first of all, I just want to say a quick thank you for coming over and checking this website out and checking out these videos. Uh, we really appreciate it. Now, hopefully by the end of this video series, you're going to have a much better understanding about which smart thermostat is going to work best for your boiler. Because that's the problem, you see. Nobody online is spreading the word about which one works best with which boiler. They're just saying, this one's got good software, this one looks really nice, you know. And that's not really the important thing when it comes to picking your smart thermostat. Now, this video could easily be an hour long of me talking about all of the technology and the, you know, the algorithms that they use and all this sort of stuff, which most people are going to find boring. But I am going to create a few other videos which go into a little bit more detail to explain you know what a modulating control is you know what open therm is what TPI is all this other stuff which is very important to know I definitely recommend checking them out but if you're the sort of person that's in a bit of a rush you know you just want to get to the point that I'm gonna share with you my free top thermostats that I recommend using but I just want you to know that there are some boilers which will have thermostats available to them that are gonna work better Again, I'll talk about that more in another video. So let's start off with this thermostat here. This is a, th uh, this is a wireless version, and this is made by a company called EPH. So this is a smart thermostat, it's just not app controlled. Many people think that a smart thermostat is an app controlled thermostat when it's not. It's just that they have a different sort of thought process. They're able to do calculations and they can remember data from previous uh, times to be able to work out what's going to be best for efficiency in the long run. So this is a smart thermostat, it's just not app control. It has six different time and temperature settings. So, you know, in the morning I can have it to be 21, in the afternoon I can have it 18, in the evening I can have it 22. You know, I can adjust it to suit as much as I want with, you know, six, six time periods within the day. It also has a, um, holiday function on it which means obviously if you go away on holiday you say i'm going to be back on this day at this time and by the time you know it won't come on whilst you're away um until you come home and you'll have a nice warm house which is a, a nice little feature it's very user friendly you know some thermostats i've worked with in the past you just you need a degree in re, you know in being able to work it out and the and the the, the instructions are so unclear that I, I get no end of phone calls from customers complaining about how to set these up but this one is really easy to use there's not many buttons going on to you know get confused um so definitely recommend this one in terms of price point this is the cheapest thermostat i'm going to recommend you can pick these up the unit up for about 60 quid install from us is about 90 quid most of the time so you're looking at around about uh, 150 pounds or 160 pounds for the install and that depending on what's actually required so it's not a massive investment to be able to upgrade to smart thermostat and actually start getting some payback on efficiency and you know reducing your carbon footprint which is obviously very important at the moment then we're going to move on to these two thermostats now in the, i'm going to talk about these as a group really because they have both share very similar features um, but they they have different price points. So just so you know, all of these thermostats speak with an open therm language, or if you don't have an open therm, open therm compatible boiler, they speak TPI. Uh, videos on that later, you can check them out. Um, so they both speak them languages, which makes them very clever. It also has something called optimum start, which means, at, let's say for example, you know, I wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, I want my room to be 20 degrees, optimum start will work out exactly what time it needs to come on to get to that temperature at that time. So it kind of removes the guesswork from, you know, I'll best come on half an hour earlier or whatever, it will just work it out for itself. These are both app controlled thermostats so obviously connected to the internet um, so they both have really easy to use apps as well i wouldn't even bother trying to set up the scheduling on the thermostat unit themselves you just do it from your phone so easy they also have a feature called geo fencing now what that means is the thermostats will be connected to your phone and it will track where you are by where your phone is now when you set basically set a radius around your house and when that phone enters that that circle it will trigger on the heating because it thinks that you're coming home so over time this is going to collect the data and it's going to work out what your sort of schedule looks like automatically which i think is 
awesome, it's really, really clever, but sometimes you might not want that to happen. For me, for example, I drive past my house all the time, and the last thing I want is it coming on all the time. So I've got that turned off. The other great thing about these is they can be connected to uh, Alexa or Google Home, so you can literally say, Alexa, turn my heating up by two degrees, and it will do it, which is unreal, to be honest. Um, the other things which are really good about these thermostats is the, um, what was the other thing that I needed to talk about? Just had a complete mind blank there, but now I remember what it was. <laughs> these app control thermostats, the Honeywell and the Nest, they also have other, other products which you can connect to the same app. So for example, um, the Honeywell, they have smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms, they have leak detection sensors, um, which you can basically get connected to the same app. So if anything goes wrong, you can, you can get notified on that. Uh, Nest have you know, indoor cameras and outdoor cameras, and Nest also have a really good smart doorbell, which has a, a camera on the front of it. So if anyone rings the doorbell, um, it will get sent through to your app as well. So there's a lot of things that you can do with it. There's a lot of functionality that you can have with these thermostats. So the question is, how much are they? Well, this one here, you can pick up for roughly 150, 160 pounds, depending on where you get it from, um, which I think is a really good price for the unit itself. Um, it looks okay, it looks great. You know, there's nothing really wrong with the look of it. But I have to say that my personal favorite one is this Nest. Now the Nest, you know, you can spend 200, 210 pounds to get the Nest unit itself. This one has a little stand which you can buy. It's, uh, it's about 30 quid um, for the stand extra. So, you know, there is a bit more of an investment involved, but in terms of how it looks and how it feels, it just looks, it just looks wicked. <laughs> so I absolutely love it for that purpose alone. I'm happy to spend that extra money um, Everything about it is is pretty much the same. Not to mention that it, the probably the reason that it's more expensive is the fact that it's got this little sensor at the bottom. So it sits quiet as soon as you walk by, it will recognise that you're there, and it will just trigger up the screen to show you what the temperature is and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much the gist of it with the free thermostats that I recommend. Remember, they're not going to work best with certain boilers. For example, a Valent boiler, you need the V Smart. If you've got a Worcester boiler, you need the Worcester Wave, uh, as long as your boiler's within a certain age. But you just need to find out, you need to look into that. Obviously, if you need any advice on that, you can get in touch with me, I'll be happy to help with you. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. I do recommend that you go and watch the other videos which explain in more detail how open therm works and what boilers that's gonna work with and things like that. It makes a massive difference to the efficiency of the boiler and everything else. So again, my name's Jamie, I'm from a company called Hydro Heat. Any questions, get in touch. Thank you for watching the video, bye-bye.